All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Today we're back in Tableau, and I'm going to show you how to use a donut chart uh, to display simple KPIs. I already have a video on how to put together a donut chart. You can check that out, but uh, you may want to follow along on this video as well. So the first thing I'm going to do, and this is a little different than how I did it in my first video, um, use either technique you like, but here we're going to create a calculated field and it's going to be a placeholder calculated field, one and one there, right? If we take that, I'm going to drag that to rows and I'm going to drag it again to rows, right? And let's turn both of these into min, right? Let's take the minimum. The minimum of one is one, so that all works out. And on our all marks card, Let's change this to a let's change this to a pie. Great, right? Now on the uh, min one, I'm going to drag category to color, and this is superstore data, so this should be uh, very familiar to you if you use uh, Tableau a lot. And we're going to drag uh, from our measures. Let's throw the profit here on the angle. Great, great. And if we go down here on our one two, we want to change this to white, right? And we're going to go here and make this a dual axis. And on our min one, two, on our second uh, circle, right, the key is to uh, decrease the size, exposing our, uh, our top, I'm sorry, the, uh, the bottom circle there, right? So now we have a nice little uh, donut that appears. I can uh, hide this. I don't need to show headers there. Great. And what I want to do now Let's show the, uh, the profit in the middle of our uh, circle here, white circle here on top, right? So all I got to do is grab profit, bring that into label. Now, if that doesn't come in uh, the way you want, you can play with the alignment. I believe it's the vertical middle will bring it there. And if we want to, we can play around with our font sizes, make it bold. Now, let's go 12 here. How about that? Make that pop a little bit. And... I'm going to also, let's format this guy, turn him into a uh, currency, no decimal places, units, thousands, right? 286K, great. Uh, let's get rid of some lines while, while we're in here. If I get a format and I believe, yeah, let's try on the columns. I like to say none there, rows, let me make sure I have nothing, none, none, just double checking. None. All right. So now if I were to bring in, let's see, region. Let's bring region to the top here. You'll see I have four donuts. And let's go entire view here so they all get in, get in one view. I have four donuts. But I want to bring these headers up to the top. So what I will do, I'm going to duplicate region. Uh, I know there's a duplicate here. Here we go. Um, and let's bring our copy, bring a copy of that here. So that brings our, uh, our region to the top where I want it. And again, going back into format, let's turn off some, uh, let's turn off some lines. Um, the column divider, none, great. Um, we can go to, to rows, row divider, yeah, make sure that's none. Great. So now we're, we're so fresh and so clean here, uh, looking good. I can play around, obviously, with the, uh, the formatting. Again, I want this to be, I want these guys to be bold. Let's go blue. And let's change the size here. Again, let's try 14, right? So there you go. I've got uh, four donuts here. Um, oh, one, one last thing. Let's sort by region. And in the field, I want um, our profits by sum and let's go uh, descending right here I say okay and there we go uh, the highest profits in the West show up first uh, descending sort all the way down right so once I have that I can I can create a oh not a new sheet I can create a new dashboard and we just created our uh, KPI donuts new whoops let's let's throw in uh, let's throw in a couple vertical uh, objects here Bam, bam, KPI donuts. I'm going to bring that there. There's our chart. And I've got this simple, let's bring in the map here. 
uh, something very simple to throw together and let's let's show our profits over here I don't necessarily need this yeah go ahead and delete it it's fine and we'll go in here oops I think we're I think we're good there if I go to the size here not a fixed size let's go to automatic here spread that out so we got a simple dashboard here and let's build out the uh, the filtering capabilities so if I go here I can say use as filter I can go to this guy and I, I can also say use as a filter and so not to, not not to jump the gun you can see I've got a very simple dashboard here um, and all of these right here get rid of this uh, this title hide the title um, these are profits right by state so if I wanted to on my donut slices you can see it's by region and if I wanted um, again this is uh, it's gonna bother me a little bit let's go to the uh, the tooltip and I don't need uh, men one here right and get rid of that um, make sure it's make sure that that it does not show up there we go uh, okay so I've got region and region copy let's go back in here real quick whoops I'm oh, sorry uh, on my all tooltip I don't need the region copy in there as well just show the region that's fine sorry a little cleanup there we go in the west I've got 108k that's all I need to see anyway um, when I when I click on let's say office supplies in the west right it's gonna it's gonna bring up the we western states only down here um, it's gonna show my profits looks like California has a lot of profits looks like Washington has a lot of profits but not uh, not a lot of profits uh, elsewhere or if I wanted to I could just click on uh, west here right and you know it, it'll sort or I'm sorry it will filter uh, by all of the categories in the West so that's why I like keeping these uh, um, these uh, regions here up top here it makes for for a pretty good uh, filter right so yeah let me click on this uh, the pin here so I can keep everything centered when I move from uh, from region to region now again we know that the uh, pie chart is not best practice right uh, bar charts are always best practice maybe a diverging bar chart would be pretty good here because in some of these we have negative values see how the uh, in the central region for for furniture we've got a negative 3k which doesn't make uh, sense uh, when you're trying to show contribution to the whole here so so maybe a uh, di diverging uh, or like a stacked bar chart would make more sense here but just wanted to show that you could use um, in, in other situations, you could use a, uh, a donut chart here to display some, uh, some KPI. So, uh, hope you like this tip. Uh, this has been Anthony Smoke. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.